All right, guys. So today we're going to be remaking the why well, no not remaking, but um more or less updating a video I made like a year ago. So um I rated um I rated every single Saint I mean every single um Springfield arc back in uh, um April maybe like um. Either March or April, like somewhere around the af somewhere like um after the events of the Florida arc, because we we're going back to uh, Springfield after so long, you know. At that time, we only had six Springfield arcs at the. T we only had six. We only had six Springfield arcs at the time. So I'm trying to say, and now we have thirteen. And of course, I'm not going to be counting the uh, Springfield visits in different arcs like um the Texas arc or the the two Branson arcs or at least the two Branson arcs that feature the um, Springfield. We're just going to be counting all the main main ones. So yeah, um we're going to start off with my least favorite, the third Springfield arc. So um I do say um I still I still think that this here is the worst Springfield arc. A lot of a lot of crap just went wrong in this in this arc. Um let me just state off all the things that happened all in order. So um really the, the first bad thing to actually happen in the third Springfield arc was um the discovery that um wait wait no no no. I actually wanna I actually wanna tell you um um the hype surrounding it before it released so um the third springfield arc was supposed to be the arc that actually showcased the second walmart towers fhl 6 uh, on night mode because we our whole tale was going to be facing that tower i was so pumped i was so ready to finally film its night mode to finally prove that it has an fhl 6 and i was also excited to finally film the um um, I was also excited to finally film the Springfield Highway Patrol Tower up close. So um, I was ready. I was re I was ready to just dive into it. I was hyped. I wanted to see both towers. I wanted to see the second Walmart Towers day mode. I also wanted to uh, see the uh, the Springfield Highway Patrol Tower. I was even more hyped with the um, with the Highway Patrol Tower since I was um, well, I mean not. I meant to say um um. Um, not I wasn't as hyped as seeing the second Walmart Towers night mode finally. Well, I mean recording it finally. But um, um, I meant to say that I was um very hyped um for the Springfield Highway Highway Patrol Tower because I would uh, finally be able to film it both that day and night up close. And then we finally went. Everything was going good so far. Um, the first thing I did. In in the in the spring in the third Springfield arc was filmed the Highway Patrol Tower. I even took a picture of it. I took a picture of it a few times and stuff. It was all good. Um, a little too close to the tower. I would have rather filmed it from a distance. But at least um, I actually visited the site, so I can say that. At least. And then we went over. Um, we went over to uh, the Battlefield Mall, which is the Springfield Mall. So yeah, um, I was not prepared for what I was going to see. So we were in the parking lot. We're finding a parking spot. I was joking around with myself like, uh, what, what, what would you do if the, the second Walmart tower got an LED right in this perfect day or night? Well, whatever. Um, I, I, you know, I was joking around like, oh my God, I was going to be so pissed. I was going to be so pissed, pissed, like so pissed. I just seen it as a little joke, like, uh, that's not going to happen anytime soon. At least not during this trip. And then, um, um, I finally seen it, but a building blocked it, so I couldn't see its beacon. And then, um, the building finally, um, well, I mean, we moved away from the building, and then the truth was revealed. The tower now has an LED. That was the most disappointing part of this entire arc, really. I was really ready to film its night mode. Like, um, I've made, like, three or four videos of it already. Um, four or five, maybe? I don't even know. And I was hope I was, um, I was looking forward for the next video of it being its day mode and night mode. 
filming as day mode, night mode. That's why I'm going to say, I don't know. I just put weird, I, I, I don't make sense. So yeah, very, very horrible. And then at night, um, thank God it doesn't have a crappy, I mean, FTS 370 with the 20 flash per minute night mode. Um, but it does have flashing side markers. Um, back then, before this all happened, I was kind of, I was kind of okay with markers. I, I, I seen them as cool, you know. Um, and then, um, when I seen the tower at night with its, uh, new flashing markers, um, a realization came, um, realization hit me like a train. And this is now permanent, really, like, it'll never have stationary sign markers again. Unless FA decides to change up some stuff again. But that's very unlikely, so it's probably going to have flashing sign markers forever. Or until, at least until it's uh, taken down. I don't get why it has, um, it's, it, I don't, I don't know why it has flashing sign markers. It, it's, it's close to an airport. It even has a beacon because of that. Like, if it, if it wasn't close to an airport, it wouldn't have a beacon. I, I, I refuse to believe that it's like over 200 feet in, or something. So yeah, it, that was just very disappointing. I didn't like it. I I really, really, really wanted to film its FH-306 at night. And thanks to that, I wouldn't be able to film an FH-306 night mode all the way until July 2021. And this took place in September 2020. That's a big time gap, you know? All because of um, an LED replacement during the wrong time. Horrible timing, really. Just horrible timing. And then back to uh, the other main tower of this arc. Um, I went over to finally film the, the highway, the patrol tower at night. And it was still in day mode, but I didn't worry much. I um, I was just going to uh, wait until it went to night mode. Like, I was actually more excited to see its um, day mode and um, go into night mode. So, yeah, um, I was I was ready to catch it on camera. But I really needed to pee real fast, so I went over to um, the gas station that we were parked at to take a piss real fast. And um, while there, according to my dad, there was some random dude who walked into the gas station with a knife. And it seemed like nobody even gave a damn. Like, the the cashier or clerk, they're called clerks, um, the, the clerk was actually greeting him. Like, uh, they seemed like they were friends or something. But I remember my dad saying that he had some knife in his pocket or something. So we got the hell out of that gas station. And I thought we were going to move over to, over to another gas station, like, on the other side of the road. And then my dad just uh, said, no, no, we're going back to our hotel. Like, what? No, no. So we um, drove back and the tower didn't go on night mode. Um, I tried to film it going to night mode from a distance on the highway. But that's that. Um, that didn't happen. It didn't go to night mode. It was just a disappointing time, really. I even had to make a video. Well, I, I had to make the, the ending of the video was literally me in uh, Target announcing the bad news. And of course, um, we didn't go back. But at least uh, I got to film it a few times with its night mode. Finally, after a few months. So yeah, it's that's not really that bad anymore. But we could have had a night mode video of it earlier. So yeah, um, um, so that's um the bad stuff that happened then. And then the, the next morning, I came down with a cold or just allergies or something like that. Uh, I felt like crap. I I complete. I felt like complete. Sh like just, uh, I I I felt so bad. Like. My eyes were watering, my nose, um, my, my nose actually stung. Like, I can, it felt like it was being stung by some needle. Literally, it just un undescribable. It kept on making me sneeze. Plus, my nose was clogged, my throat was sore, I felt very weak. It, I, it felt like, uh, it felt like I had a weak version of COVID. Um, so yeah, it was that bad. Like, I couldn't do much. Every time we would go to a store, I would find a place to sit down and wait for my parents to be done. It was all in all just horrible. So um, the arc ended prematurely because of that. I felt too sick to make any other video. Pretty disappointing. And there's also another disappointment I recently discovered. I actually made a Bass Pro Shop video 
that was it was meant for this arc, and I never uploaded it. <laughs> so yeah, this arc was very disappointing um, when it comes to towers and when it comes to to um, how I was feeling. Next up on the list, we got the um, the. You know, I actually, I know what I have to do, but I don't think I have the strength to do it. Did I say that right? Well, you know, like, what I'm trying to say is that um, I don't want to do this, but I, I know what I feel deep down. Coming in next is the original Springfield arc, the very first Springfield arc. I'm sorry, but this is just, like, the basic stuff here. It's a very small arc, no night mode videos and stuff, and that's really it. Um, we didn't even get to see some standout towers. Uh, well, we didn't get to see um, a lot of the standout towers until later on. It would be nice if the second Walmart tower was in this arc. Um, that would have been cool, but at least um, we know that the Walmart tower, the, the second Walmart tower was the first Springfield tower to be filmed on the big LT. Because, um, like... A few months, or uh, or maybe just a month before the first Springfield arc was a thing, I actually made a video of the tower back when I was in Springfield, way before anything like this happened. So yeah, I just have to sadly say that the the very the very first Springfield arc is kind of boring, to be honest. I wish I made more videos then to make it a, a to make it like a special beginning. But no, really, just uh, the Springfield Arc series just kind of started off slow. So, uh, yeah, um, there's that. But um, there's some there's some um, good things here and there. Like, I got to film some... I got to film at least, like, two very cool towers that will eventually show up a few times later on in the series. And then I got to film uh, the monopole you're able to see right now. But there is a little bit of bad news for this, um, so, um, remember how I kept on saying that this monopole used to have a dual strobe, or an FHR-24, and it got replaced by a modern LED, or whatever LED that is, I don't want it to sound like a baby anymore, because, uh, my friends are literally pointing it out, and they seem like they're tired of the, the lazy analogy, but, you know, I don't know what um, um what the name of the LED is or what company it comes from. It's probably Dialyte. But this here was the very first time I've seen its LED. I was massively disappointed because I really wanted to film it with its with its FH324. So, yeah, um, I, you know, I, I was pretty disappointed then. And then the, the model, the, the, um... The Lebanon monopole as well actually got an LED around the same time as this one too. So um, this Springfield trip was the very first time I seen both their LEDs. So yeah, um, there isn't that much more to say other than like um, I was at CC's and decided to accidentally call it Pizza Inn for some reason. And I made a very crunchy video of a, a Freddy plushie um, for my friend since... Uh, he he likes uh, he likes Five Nights at Freddy's. He's a big FNAF fan, and you know what? He never seen it. <laughs> he never seen the video. That video is literally just a waste of space. Like really. All right. So um, let's get into um one of the lesser well really the most um, the least known Springfield arc. I have to say, if you want to call this a Springfield arc, um, I I do. I don't know if you guys do. So we got the partial Springfield arc. I have to say, um, the partial Springfield arc is technically the the third Springfield arc, and the third Springfield arc is the fourth, um, technically. But that's not how I like to see it. I think my my bed sheets and all like my, my come on, you hate it when you're trying to um trying to tuck yourself in, and uh, the bed sheets are just. Um, they're kind of just wonky. So, um, there are some cool moments here and there in the partial Springfield arc. I did film some really cool ceiling fans in the beginning of the arc. And I also got to film a very cool night mode, a tower night mode video. Two of them, actually. I got to film a malfunction and just a trio of towers on night mode. With a few markers here and there. 
So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. But um, that's really it. I think it is pretty cool how I did get to go through Springfield. If this, if I didn't go through Springfield in this arc, um, I really have no idea why I would have called this arc, really. We did go to Ozark, but I made absolutely zero videos in Ozark. Like, I could have filmed the fourth Walmart Tower. Like, the partial Springfield arc could have been the arrival of the fourth Walmart Tower. But I, I didn't care to film towers that much. Well, I mean, I didn't care to film outside towers, I guess you can say. That was weird back then. I can't explain why I really uh, didn't like to film towers outside of, of of our location. I mean, destination. So we went to a zoo. Um, the zoo was okay and stuff. And we had family and stuff. So uh, we had family with us. And usually when it comes to arcs, um, family tends to uh, limit what we can... Well, limit what I can do, at least. At least this is, uh, it's better than the other two Springfield arcs we already looked at. Um, still kind of, still saying that the, the original Springfield arc isn't that good still doesn't sit right with me. I also got to film a train too. And for some reason I actually, I, I really just uploaded all the videos out of order. Really. <laughs> I, um, I eventually fixed that when I made the playlist um, for this arc. I don't really know what I was thinking. I don't know why I uploaded them out of order. And that's really all I have to say for um that's all I have to say about the arc. Um there's that. So uh now then let's move on to the other. Alright, alright guys, um I think I'm considering putting this lower than the actual partial Springfield arc. Um at least the, the partial Springfield arc had some interesting in and, and somewhat nostalgic stuff. Cause um that, those videos were made during my early days of 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 this YouTube channel. So um um pretend that this here is lower rated. Um, well, I mean pretend that um we didn't talk about the the um the partial Springfield arc yet. Just pretend that this here is lower than that, because it really is. Now that I now that I realize. This here is just one of the later copycat, or I mean cookie cutter, Springfield arcs. Um, nothing really interesting. Um, you know, just, it, it's whatever, I guess. Uh, it's just kind of weird. It's just a, it's a mashup of, of different Springfield arcs, I have to say. This here is a very forgettable Springfield arc, because it, it's really boring. Like, it, it really is boring. That's all I have to say. Um, it, it's just boring, to be honest. Alright, so after all the confusion, or the change, and all that stuff, we are now at the 6th Springfield Arc. So, um, the 6th Springfield Arc is kind of, um, it's kind of, um, I'm sorry, I, I, I thought I heard something outside. It's really a gray area, like, really, it's, uh, not the most memorable Springfield arc, but it's at least better than the 12th Springfield arc. You know, after the hype of the 5th Springfield arc, um, this really kind of fell flat. So, yeah, um, um, at least I got to film a tower modification. Um, but that's really it. So, uh, there's that. There's not much I remember from the 6th Springfield arc. I'm, I'm, I apologize. Okay, so I just, uh, I kind of just, um, looked through the entire arc, and I hear my cat, sorry, I'm getting distracted. So, I looked through the arc, and I have to say that, oh my god, my cat's meows are distracting me. Um, this, the sixth Springfield arc was the arc where I got to, uh, film some cool things. I got to film the Lebanon Towers, or Lebanon, Lebanon, whatever you want to call it, um, um, I filmed those towers at night, and I also filmed the very cool um, tower. I, I filmed a very cool um, day mill night mill tr transition. If you remember, this the the second really cool tower went into night mode, and before it did, its markers w um, they just lit up while the beacons were still on day mode. It was very cool. I really um, I really only seen. That happened once and on YouTube. Um, Eric Pepe actually uh, filmed something like that. 
I never seen it happen in real life uh, until then. So I have to say that's a very cool moment. That's better than uh, it's at least better than the 12th Springfield arc. And now we got the fourth Springfield arc. So um, the fourth Springfield arc is uh, it, it's pretty good, but pretty disappointing too. Um, the reason why it's very disappointing is because there's literally only two videos that are in Springfield, and that's it. Everything else is just outside of Springfield. Like um, um I mostly filmed us going in. Well, um, I mostly filmed the um the car ride there and the car ride back home. So uh, yeah, um, the fourth Springfield arc did give us um, the first um, the first ever time we uh, gave us a first ever um, Lebanon Tower Night Modes video. I swear, I swear, I just the stuttering the 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 stuttering is getting worse and worse and worse with every video I make. I say this here is the um, I I consider this to be the first modern Springfield arc. Um, if you're wondering what a modern Springfield arc is, um, basically it's just um, it's um, the start of me filming outside towers. Basically, well, not really the start, but just the start of me just massively filming all of them, just just filming all the cool ones I see, instead of just film rarely like um, filming just one or two here and there, and that's it. So yeah, it's kind of hard to believe that this here is like uh, more than a year old, really. And it's all, well, actually, it's even more believable that this is literally the um, like the, the the fifth Springfield arc, or in this case, the fourth, but technically fifth. It's just crazy to me how this here is the fourth one in the main series. Like wow, this 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 arc just um it when you watch it. It it seems like it takes place like months after the original Springfield arc. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm here to inform that you're uh you're, you're dumb. I I just realized that um, this does take uh, place after a few months. This this is a few months after the. Um... Oh wait, no, it isn't. It, it act no, it actually isn't. The third Springfield arc takes place in September. And this takes place November, one month apart, really. Or actually, um, m possibly less than a month after. So it's really crazy how, um, oh, to me at least, it's really crazy how um, the um, the third Springfield arc uh, is. Uh, more, I mean, I meant to, I meant to say um, it's crazy how the fourth Springfield arc takes place like um, a month or a month or less than the Springfield arc a after it, it takes place after um, a month after or less after the, the third Springfield arc all right that's all I had to say all right so next up is um, the only Springfield arc with the vertical poster the seventh Springfield arc woo, 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 woo. damn I really could have done better with this poster art actually no it's cover art like a movie cover or something that's what it is not poster what am i talking about so um this here was a great return to springfield after the sixth springfield arc because if you don't remember um the time gap between the sixth and seventh springfield arc is like two three months i think i actually think like three months possibly four i forgot I'm probably going way out of proportions, but I am going to say it's probably three months. So this was this was a, um, a decent arc, um, but I do say like after the six Springfield arc was um, that was when things were starting to run a little dry. Um, so yeah, there were there were some standout moments. I can think of one like um, you guys probably don't care about this, but I um, I walked through a giant shed and uh, check the place out and stuff and made a video of uh, the little uh, I made a little video a tour video of, of it I also made some some more weird or more rare big LT videos like I filmed lights at at a store um, 
What else? What else? All right. So, um, what else did I film? What what other standout moments did we have? Um. Hmm. Hmm. I got to film that microwave tower, and I'm pretty sure this might be the first time I fi um, tried to film the Fordland towers from a distance. Everything else is stuff we already seen. Um, I made some um, unusual Springfield Arc videos, like I made a mixer and washer video, looks like. We got an update on that monopole, like uh, it didn't get three sets of antennas, actually it was uh, getting an antenna replacement. Made a streetlight video, um, oh I was at Home Depot as well. I made a video of the entire ceiling fan aisle. Mowers, shed tour, ceiling fans, downtown towers. And everything else is just repeated stuff from the beginning of the arc. And of course my battery is at 5%. I just realized, why did I say battery and stuff? Oh. So yeah, this here was like a great little return to um, the Springfield series. Um, it actually did make me uh, crave more, actually, to be honest. Even if it was kind of running dry at this point. Next up, we got a controversial one. Like, um, you, um, if you guys know how boring or how disappointing this Springfield arc was, then you'll probably ask why did I um, why why my reckon is higher than the seventh? Well, it's because I'm I I don't want to make any more changes and confuse you all. We got the tenth Springfield arc. Really, the only the only um. The only thing that stands out to me with the 10th Springfield arc was uh, me filming that one tower with the, um, I, I filmed a tower um, that had an LED, I didn't know what LED it had um, at the time, um, but this arc was the first time I seen its LED at night mode and it has an FGS 370 with the 20 flash per minute night mode, yay, how nice, how very nice. I'm going to speak. I'm I'm going to teleport behind you. All right. Um, do I sound a little weird? I'm behind my phone. Huh. Okay, I'm back. There were um. There were a few uh, missed opportunities. There's at least one I can think of. Like um, I could have I could have filmed the. Um, I really wish I filmed the Fordland Towers in the 10th Springfield arc because. The Dent Springfield arc was really supposed to be like the, um, it was supposed to be like a milestone. It was supposed to be like the final boss of the first 10 Springfield arcs. Or 11 if you count the other one as one of the main, main ones. Um, so yeah, it was supposed to be like a final boss of sorts, but the 11 Springfield arc kind of ended up being more of a final boss. <laughs> yeah, um, you know. So yeah, um, the 10th Springfield Arc is just a mix of different Springfield Arcs here and there. Like, just different towers from different Springfield Arcs. Nothing really original other than finding out what LED that one random tower had, like, outside of Springfield. And I also filmed some random small fry towers here and there. Like, um, some random... I filmed random cell towers and water towers at night, or... More sunset, but still night mode. You know what I mean. So yeah, the the sense Springfield arc kind of fell fell a little flat, to be honest. You know, I wish I was able to change up things. I wish I was able to um, at least film the. Um, I really wish I was able to film the third Springfield smokestack. That would have been great for this. That would have made this um, arc original, or at least it would have had. Something else original. We got the 8th Springfield Arc. So, um, uh, the 8th Springfield Arc is pretty nice. It's it's at least better than the 10th Springfield Arc. Like, much better. Kind of embarrassing to say, like, that the 10th Springfield Arc, it, it's like, it's the final boss of the first 10 Springfield Arcs. And this here out, be, it, this here is better. <laughs> really, like, seriously. So this here is kind of like the great sequel to the 7th Springfield Arc. This arc was why I was craving, cause um, cause I really wanted to go back to Springfield after the seventh Springfield arc. It just felt nice to just return after we had like the very first big the, the very first big arc on this channel. 
I think the 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 big standout moment, um, at least to me, in this arc is when I went over to um, a Japanese garden and I got to film some towers from the the first and second Springfield arc. Um, I got to film at least one of those towers up close, and every other tower um, I filmed on the road or something like that, you know. So I thought that was pretty memorable, you know. And then um during during my time at the um actually no um on my way to that to that Chinese garden I actually um actually uh um I met Sean not in real life but on Discord. So yeah, it was pretty nice. It was so magical just um um well I mean not magical that sounds a little weird. I meant to say it felt very very exciting when he commented on my when he commented on one of my videos and um, I'm pretty sure he asked me um, what my discord account was so he can friend me. He told me um, a lot of good information here and there. He told me stuff that I didn't even know. Show He showed me beacons I didn't think would ever exist or I mean ever existed. So yeah every time I uh, every time I think of this the eight Springfield arc I think of um, that Chinese or Japanese, whatever, um, whatever one it is, like I think of that garden, and I think of um, talking to Sean for the first time. All right, so we got the thir the the, um, the latest Springfield arc, the thirteenth Springfield arc. I like this a lot because we actually, um, I actually got to film a new tower that I never filmed before. And I love arcs that um, introduce some brand new towers. So this here is pretty high on the list because I got to film, why well, I actually got to film quite a few different towers I had never seen or heard of before. Like some were surprising. Like I, I, um, I got to film an AM station on the highway. I didn't even know that. I didn't even know it existed. It it was just hidden away on I forty four somewhere, or it was close to I forty four, just hidden away. So we went on this um this big this um what, tiny trip in this trip uh. A, a trip inside a trip, basically, to film this one singular tower, which is um, the third, the third, um, the third Springfield Giants Tower. Um, as you, as you guys might know, or hopefully you guys remember, um, the spring, the three Springfield Giants Towers were like the the main towers of the thirteenth Springfield arc. So I think, um, I think it is pretty appropriate how we got three main towers. In an arc that has the number three in it. I thought that was pretty cool. I think that's all we have to talk about in this arc really. To be honest I probably should have rated the, the 8th Springfield arc higher than this. To be honest you know. Next up is the 9th Springfield arc. The 9th Springfield arc was uh, pretty nice. Really the main the main thing that the the main... Uh, the main part of the Ninth Springfield arc was supposed to be um the fact that we were staying the night down there, so I got to film towers both at day mode and night mode. But um really I I really just screwed up. The reason why is because um the Ninth Springfield arc actually takes place after um pretty sure it was after my um my uh it was after it was after a day of summer school, driver's ed you know. And usually when I have no work, on, when I go to school or just any form of school, I would usually play on my phone and do other things and stuff. So yeah, I guess this day I played on my phone for for a while. And uh, my phone was close to dying. And then when I got home, I continued to play on it instead of charging it up for the trip. Um, so yeah, that was really the downfall of, but that was, that was just a horrible choice, you know, that didn't ruin the arc really, but we got something else that's even bigger than the day night, you know. So when I, when I had that realization that we were going to leave soon to uh, Springfield, I hurried up and tried to charge my phone and, uh, I, you know, like, I guess I didn't have a fast charger because it didn't get that high, you know, so yeah, um. I ended up having to, uh, had to, uh, rely on battery saving, power saving mode and stuff. And I didn't get to film much, uh, tower night modes. So it was very disappointing. This here is by far the longest Springfield arc, I'm pretty sure. 
So it would have been nice if um, there would there would have been more night mode videos. But I was too scared my phone was going to die. We had a little bit of a twist. Um, there's a building with a modern 300mm. And the last time I seen it on night mode in the Springfield series was in the 5th Springfield arc. Where it had an LED inside of it. So yeah, it had an LED retrofit and all that stuff. And I thought that was permanent. But when I seen it at night during the the ninth Springfield arc, it's in, it, I mean, it was working like a normal three hundred millimeter. So I was really confused. I didn't know about the the backup system that the retrofit LEDs had ba um, at the time, you know. So I thought that it was just um, I just I thought it was just weird, wacky, and just like something unexplainable. Literally, I remember um, a astronaut in the ocean was playing on the radio. And I decided to, um, me my, and my parents decided to, um, annoy my sister by singing it to her. And, uh, I was, yeah, literally, I was just like, um, what do you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb, you can call it mental free. So we're having fun and all that stuff. We're, um, we're driving, we're riding back to our whole, we're driving to our hotel after, um, doing stuff out, out in Springfield at night. And literally, I glance out at, at the the front view um, window. I, I I glance out at the window, basically, and then I see the the building's um, three hundred millimeter working like normal, or flashing like like a normal incandescent. Um, I um, I was very confused. Literally, I broke out of my um my um goofy self and was really just like, whoa, what? I had a re I swear I had an LED retrofit. No, what, 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 there's no way. So yeah, that's really it for the night mode stuff. The, the main, really like the main, main part of this arc or the, the big excitement of this arc, um, or at least, uh, the other half of it was, um, I, fi I finally got to, to film the first and second Springfield smokestacks. So yeah, that was a very special moment in the, the Springfield series because I never filmed those before. And, um, yeah, it was pretty nice, you know. So it was pretty cool. We drove all the way down there to film them. And we also, um, I mean, I also seen other things. Like, there's a tower um, nearby that had two sets of 3,000 bees. And for some reason, they were on night mode. And it was day. It was pretty weird, but it was pretty cool, you know. So yeah, like, uh, I got to uh, film towers at night. I got to film smokestacks. And um, this here was uh, the the biggest Springfield arc so far. So yeah, this is a pretty special Springfield arc, I have to say. There could have been more things going for it, but um, I, I, I'm, I'm fine with what we got. Now it's time for the Springfield arc that made me feel like we were um, on a big vacation. The 11th Springfield arc. The 11th Springfield arc felt more like a final boss to the original few Springfield arcs more than the, the 10th Springfield arc. And that's pretty sad to say, since this here is um, the first Springfield arc of the new wave of Springfield arcs. The, the, the first one of the next 10, basically. So the reason why this feels like a final boss, more of a final boss than the actual 10th Springfield arc is because of one thing. I got to film, um, that really that I really got to film the the tallest the tallest structure in Missouri, which is um the the KY TV tower. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. So yeah, I'm going to say it's a KY TV tower, even if I I'm 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 probably I'm probably wrong, but I'm just going to call it that for now. So um, here's the reason why. Well, and wait, no, wait. I just already said the reason why why this felt like I was on some big vacation. I got to film TV towers, like gigantic TV towers, literally driving, driving, um, driving away from them or like driving past them. That's what I was looking for. Um, it felt like I was on a big vacation. I felt like I was like states away from home. That's what it felt like because I usually see tall TV towers when I'm on big vacations. So I thought that was pretty cool, you know, very, very cool. Like. That's like big arc stuff. So yeah, I got to film um, the biggest um, Missouri structure. Well, the biggest structure in Missouri. 
tied to another tower. We got two biggest um, structures in Missouri. Both are 2,000 feet tall. Uh, the other one is close to Jefferson City and Columbia. So, uh, so yeah. So, yeah, um, a lot of good things happen in this arc. So, yeah, it was pretty cool. I even got to film the towers at night, but from a distance. So, yeah, um, it did get dark very, very fast in this arc. Like, literally, I remember we were at a mall. And uh, when we ste when we walked out and uh, when we were getting getting ready to go and we're heading into our car, um, it, it was just, it was pitch black. It was just all dark. It was just night, basically. So, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool, you know. So, yeah. I don't know why I keep on saying that. That's really all I have to say about this. It would have been better if I went back to Fort Lynn to film the towers at night up close. That would have been perfect. That would have been that would have served as a great little final boss to the the first ten Springfield arcs. So yeah, I'm sorry the tenth Springfield arc was pretty disappointing. Now we got the fifth Springfield arc. So this this arc was pretty special for uh, um, pretty much um, a lot of reasons. Pretty much. So um, the first standout moment of this arc is when I went over to uh, um, a when I went over to a candy factory. Like there's this very popular candy factory, um, and we went there. Like it's close to Lebanon, like just right outside of Lebanon. So we went we went there this trip. So yeah, it was pretty nice. I got to film the, the, the second Walmart Tower up close. Um, I got to film some pretty cool Christmas lights. I got to film the return of the, um, the radio, that one radio tower and cell tower from the second Springfoot arc. Um, you know, the one with the two sets of three, one of them has two sets of 3000 bees and the other one has, uh, some sort of white and only single stroke. So I got to film the, the radio tower with the 3000 bees up close. So it was pretty cool. They kind of looked like FH 306s, you know. They're kind of pinkish, you know. They were. That's what they looked like in person. And then, the awaited towers. Like literally, these were long-awaited towers. Like I didn't get to make much videos of these towers. Like um, well, I actually only got to make one video. Well, I mean, only got to show one. The other one I didn't get to show. Or I mean. Actually, no, I think I did show that one, too. But really, every if you're talking about every every major downtown tower, then I didn't film all of them. So, yeah, we, got, we had some very long-awaited towers. I got to film them at day and night. But I filmed them on, I filmed them on night mode first because we already got a day mode video of them. So, yeah, it was pretty nice, pretty cool, you know. Um, I, I, this was the first time I got to film that building with the 300 millimeter too. So that was pretty cool. To, that was pretty cool. And then I, um, I got to film that crazy FM tower. Like it had two sets of old school 300 millimeters. The top one was steady and the bottom one, well, the second one was, uh, st the second one was flashing like normal. Um, and it had one set of markers. The crazy thing about it is how um both uh, both thing, both 300 millimeters are like right next to each other, like seriously, they're just right there, just right next to each other. I got to film more towers here and there on night mode, like towers that we've seen in other Springfield arcs on day mode. Well, I got to see them at night mode. I got to film the KY3 TV tower again at night, Christmas lights and all that stuff. And then everything else, oh, um, everything else in this spot, like after the um, the Christmas lights video, is just normal Springfield video. And then we got the day mode video of the um, the the awaited downtown towers. And this is when I found out that that incandescent or three hundred millimeter has a retrofit LED in it. And this is um the, the time where my camera really wanted to shake around for some reason. Literally, it wasn't me. It was actually the camera itself. It just shook around. So it was very hard to focus on beacons and stuff. Everything else really was um was just repeat what was um just repeated stuff from different Springfield arcs. But that doesn't make this arc any any any. It doesn't make the arc bad. This is my second favorite Springfield arc, and I'll forever say that. 
So yeah, second favorite Springfield arc is the fifth Springfield arc. And just like the last Springfield arc ranking video, my favorite Springfield arc is still the second Springfield arc. The second Springfield arc really just, it was so, so fun to make. Just very, very, very fun. Just a very fun little vacation we had. And just really, it was, I had a lot of fun making these videos and all that stuff. Here, hold on. Got an itchy eyeball. Alright, so, um, um, after rubbing my eyeball, we can talk, I can talk now. So there's a lot of special things about this arc um, that I find pretty nostalgic. Um, 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 here's one nostalgic thing. Like, this here took place in spring after school too so i was free free as the wind and um i also got to uh um this year was the first time i filmed those uh that one radio tower and cell tower at that chinese garden japanese garden whatever it is at night mode and that's the first time i got to find out um that the cell tower in fact shined white only so yeah it was pretty cool so I filmed a lot of random videos here, like, um, just take a look. The first video, but uh, the first episode was a storm video, which I like storms. And I got to film the, um, the second, uh, the second Springfield Giants clone tower. It's the second tower, but it's the first one I've ever filmed. So, uh, you guys can, you guys can consider this one to be the first, but I consider the downtown one to be the first. This is just a second. Um, got to film the, the second Walmart Tower with its FH-06. It would have been so much better if I decided to um, film it at night. Like, it um, would have been cool to uh, film it at night. But we were far away from it. And I didn't want to bug my dad any more than I already have at the time, you know. I got to, like um, like I already said, I filmed those, uh, those that, that, cell, that cell tower and radio tower. I got to film the KY3 tower at night for the first time. So yeah, it was pretty cool. Washer video. I also um, made a cat video. Literally, there's some Scottish folk cat at the hotel we were staying at. He was so cute. He, he's so cute. I made, um, a, I made a video of a smudged cat shirt. I thought that was pretty cool. That's a big standout moment in this arc to me at least. I don't know about y'all. And uh, another standout moment is the the old streetlights video, so it was pretty nice. Then when this here's um, I think this here was the first time I filmed the the um, Springfield Highway Patrol Tower. This was the first time I filmed the um, the the Lebanon Lebanon Tower duel that you know they're really just right next to each other. So yeah, that's really it for now. Um. That's all 13 Springfield arcs, or 14 if you count the partial Springfield arc. It's technically 14, but um, it the partial Springfield arc is not numbered. So yeah, um, the partial Springfield arc is kind of like a bonus, you know. Damn, you know, I don't, I really hate it when I, I get so excited to make these videos and I just sound so bored and I stutter. Like, I stutter a lot in very long, boring videos. Well... Um, I apologize. Um, I here here's um why I should have said I should have started off with the apology. I apologize for the amount of stuttering in this video. Um, it only, I I stutter a lot when I make very long videos, along with um and along with when I get bored too. I don't know why, but it's just it's so weird. Like when I I get so excited to make one video. And then, and, and then halfway into the video, my throat starts to hurt, I get bored, I stutter, and I feel like an idiot, you know. So yeah, it's just uh, not not really too fun to make these videos um, when we're at the halfway point. But yeah, there's all the Springfield arcs rated. Um, that's my, um, that, that's my um, Springfield arc ranking. Well, tier list, whatever you, I, I guess you can say it's a tier list, I don't know. All the Springfield arcs ranked from worst to best. Yeah, that that's better. That's better. All right. Well, uh, see you tomorrow, I guess.